Okay, let's have the discussion and the solution to example 67 on the construction of the influence lines for uh, a frame. So draw the influence lines for reaction moment at support A, vertical reaction at support A, vertical reaction at support F, shear at E, and moment at E of the frame shown. So we first evaluate if the frame is determinate or not. There are three uh, <coughs> unknown reactions here, vertical, horizontal, and reaction moment, two at the hinge at D and one at F. And therefore, there are six uh, unknown support reactions all in all, or unknown reactions all in all, internal and external. But there are two free body diagrams that we can make, this part here and this part DEF. Therefore, 6 is equal to 3 times number of free body diagrams, which is 2. So, 6 equals 6. So, therefore, this is determinate and stable. So, let's put now the unknown reactions. We have AY, moment at A, then that's, that's the unit load at distance X from B. The unit load moves from B to F, and so on. Then this is 10 minus X, and we have a moment at A. Of course, AX is 0 because the load is vertical. Summation for SS is 0, so AX is always 0. Then we have here RF. So if we first construct the influence line for AY by... <coughs> Summing moment at D, there, then there will be two unknowns that will be involved. So the technique is first, let's construct the influence line for RF, although it is as at letter C. So to solve for RF, there are two situations. First, when the unit load moves from 0 from B to D, then from D to F. So let's consider DEF and the free body diagram so this is the free body diagram so the unit load is not yet there if we consider from 0 to 10 meters <clears throat> and this is now the unit load for 10 up to 20 meters so therefore this is x minus uh, the position the load is somewhere here its distance from b is x and since this is 10 so therefore its distance from d is x minus 10. So summation moment about D equals 0, counterclockwise positive. So take note that the unit load is still not there if we consider movement from B to D. So imagine that the unit load is still not there. So therefore, R sub F times 10 equals 0. That will be the equation. So that means RF is 0 for 0 less than equal to X less than equal to 10 meters. Then beyond that, from 10 to 20, the unit load is there. So the equation would now be RF times 10 equals 1 times quantity X minus 10. So RF is 1 over 10 times quantity X minus 10 for 10 less than equal to X less than equal to 20. So there are two formulas for RF. 0 from 0 to 10. So let's now plot. So meaning to say it is 0 from B to D. And it is 110 times x minus 10 from D to F or from 10 to 20. So when x is 10, that is still 0. When x is 15, 15 minus 10, 5 over 10.5 at E. Then at F, 20 minus 10 over 10 is 1. So 0.5 at E, then 1 at F. So that's the influence line for reaction at F. Next, we now consider the whole system. So let's have the construction of vertical reaction at A or AY. So our equation would be AY plus RF equals 1. And this equation is applicable for all values of X from 0 to 20. So AY therefore is 1 minus RF. For 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 20. So, 
That means, because this is RF, 1 minus 0, uh, RF is 0 at B at C and D. So that means AY is 1 at B, C and D. Then, 10 to 20. So when X is 15, 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5. Then 1 minus 1 is 0, so it looks like this. <coughs> so that's the influence line for AY. Next, for moment at A, let's consider A, B, C, D. And since A is, I assume that A is left, then going to right above, so I'll assume that MA is positive clockwise because A is in the left. So summation moment about about D equals 0 clockwise as positive. So the unit load is there. So our equation is MA plus AY times 5 equals 1 times 10 minus X. So MA plus AY times 5 equals 1 times quantity 10 minus x. So that means MA is <coughs> 1 times 10 minus x minus 5 AY. And this is applicable for 0 less than equal to x up to 10 meters. Beyond 10 meters or beyond D, the unit load is no longer part of the free body diagram. So therefore, we simply remove the contribution of the moment of the unit load with this, this part. So, MA equals negative 5 of AY for 10 less than equal to X less than equal to 20 meters. So, we are now ready to plot the influence line for MA. So, <clears throat> this is the equation. When X is 0, 1 times 10 minus 0 is 10 minus 5 times AY which is 1. So it is positive 5 or clockwise 5, uh, it may be kilonewton meter when x is 0. Then when x is 5, <coughs> this is the applicable formula. 1 times 10 minus 5 is 5 minus 5 times ay which is 1. So it is 0 at c. When x is 10, this becomes 0, so it is negative 5 of AY. And negative 5 of 1 is negative 5. So, positive 5, 0, negative 5. Then when X is 15, this is now the applicable formula. Negative 5 of 0.5 is negative 2.5 here at the Then negative 5 of 0 is 0. So, therefore, the influence line for moment at... at a is this one. So that's the influence line for moment at A. Okay, for shear at E, there are many ways to consider free body diagrams so that we can construct the shear and moment at E, but the best way is to consider EF. Because E is in the left and F is in the right, positive shear is upward, positive moment is clockwise. And recall that this is the influence line for RF because we need RF in our free body diagram. So we have RF here. This is 5 meters. Shear at T also upward. Moment at T is, is counterclockwise, or sorry, clockwise, positive then this formula is applicable from 0 up to just to the left of E or 0 to less than 15 meters. Then when X is 15 to 20, it is now on this span here, so the unit load appears. There, there's no unit load here from 0 to less than 15. But 15 to 20, the unit load is now on this 
segment of EF. So since the unit load is at distance x from B, and since this is 15 meters, so therefore this is x minus 15. So for 0 to less than x less than 15, summation first y equals 0. The equation is v sub e plus rf equals 0. So that means v sub e is negative of rf. And this is true for 0 less than equal to x less than 15 meters. Then when x is between 15 to 20, the unit load is now part of the free body diagram. So v sub e plus rf equals 1. So therefore, v sub e is 1 minus rf. And this is for 15 less than, less than x less than equal to 20. So let's now compute the value of these two parts. So negative of rf because rf is 0 from b to d. It is also 0 from b, c, d. Negative of 0 is 0. Then just to the left of 15 when x is 14.99999, rf is 0.5 and 1 minus... Uh, sorry, this is still the applicable formula because x is 14.9999. So, negative of 0.5 is negative 0.5. Then, when x is 15.0001, this is now the applicable formula. 1 minus rf, rf is 0.5 is positive 0.5. Then, when x is 20, 1 minus 1, rf is 1 here, is 0. So, it is like that. So that's the influence line for shear at E. And finally, for moment at E, from 0 to 15 meters, including 15 meters, summation moment about E equals 0, clockwise positive. So ME equals RF times 5. So this is the formula from 0 less than equal to X less than equal to 15 meters. Then, when x is between 15 to 20, the unit load is now part of the free body diagram. Free body diagram. Therefore, me plus 1 times x minus 15 equals rf times 5. So, me is 5rf minus 1 quantity x minus 15. And this is true for 15 less than equal to x less than equal to 20 meters. So, let's now plot. There are two formulas for me. 5RF, so 5 times 0 is 0 from B to D. Then when X is 15 to 20, when X is 15, RD, RF is still 0. So 0 minus quantity 1 minus quantity 1 times 15 minus 15 is still 0 when X is, sorry, uh, x is 15 when x is 10 5 times 0 minus uh, when x is 15 so 5 times 0.5 minus Quantity 15 minus 15 is positive 2.5 or simply 5 times RF. So positive 2.5. Then when X is 20, RF is 1. So 5 times 1 is 5 minus 1 times 20 minus 15. So 5 minus 1 times 5 is 0. So, it drops to 0 at F. So, this is the influence line for moment at E. So, that's it. I hope that you were able to follow the solution by basic approach.